Welcome to Obsidian. Today we're going to look at Kanban boards and how to use them to organize your data. Okay, so if you're a dungeon master, you've probably heard of Kanban boards or Trello before. Um, it's a tool that um, people use to manage you know, their, their data. In some cases, people manage their entire campaigns out of Trello. I've uh, got it in front of me here, so you can see like it is a web tool. Um, it can be used for free. Um, and basically, you, know, you can click into these things and, and have your data come up. But for me, just a Kanban board, board is not a strong enough management tool. I need something with a bit more oomph. And while I like Kanban boards as a method of organizing my data, I also want that combined with everything else. And to show you what I mean, let's jump over to obsidian.md and show you their version of a Kanban board. All right, so Kanban boards can be moved around. All right, for any of us in project management, you're probably used to using these sort of things. You can drop things up and down. You can move them around. I don't think oh, you can actually do that too. Oh, that's cool. Um, but that's not really the way I use it, right? So what I use it for is a dungeon master screen. It's my screen that has a list of quick things that I usually want to check in a game. Um, sometimes it's not even you know, the things I like to check in a game, I'll be honest, I don't use it that often. But when I do, it's nice to have a quick place to come in and find rules. And I think one of the things I use it most for is random generators. You know, let's say that, you know, there's an NPC that my party meet at the table, I quickly come in here and I get a random NPC. All right, and I really like this DM here as one. Well. If anyone hasn't used it yet, I recommend you check it out. It comes with pictures as well, which is really handy. Outside of that, though, it's really handy to have a place to quickly come in and get the rules. So you can see if I want my deafened rules, I've got them here. If I want my grappled rules, they're very easy for me to get. Um, I am just holding control here, by the way, when I mouse over things, and that's how you get the mouse over to work. All right. And one of the things I've been playing with today is just adding images to my Kanban boards. So they don't come like this out of the box. All right. To give you an idea of what a Kanban board would look like by default, it just looks a bit more like that. All right. Whereas I've gone through and I've put pictures into mine because I love the way the pictures look. It just really sort of pops and draws my eyes to where I think I need to go. And then I'm also starting to add pictures to my key sort of topics that I use on a regular basis. So I use my fast NPC with the picture quite often because of the picture. I like the ability to share that. Um, and obviously, you know, Obsidian has the, um, the second window plugin currently. Um, they're also working on native second window support, so that's coming. Um, but here we can also see like I've got them in my grapple sections, right? Like I, I always get the grapple rules wrong. So uh, having a picture that helps. I've got the chase rules, I've got the schools of magic. So just having that sort of functionality there with a the picture and it helps draw my eyes straight to that, that section, all right, which helps me find that information quicker. So that's where we're going. So what are we doing here? How do I install it? All right, so by now most of you probably know we come down here to settings and from there we go into community plugins. All right, make sure that your restrict mode is turned off. I'm gonna go here to community plugins and click browse. All right, once we're in here, we're going to type in Kanban. All right, you can see Kanban by MG Myers. It's got 250,000 downloads currently. It's got a nice little readme in here with a whole heap of how-tos. So I recommend you go in and check that out. All right, um, and there's always options. I always tend to go through the options when I install something just so I can understand you know, what it has and what it might do for me. So you can see there's all sorts of options in here. You can set up templates and prepens and appends and probably details here on how to archive your stuff will be quite important to people, date functionality and that sort of thing. Now, there is like the ability here to, you know, archive cards, all right? You can click on the little knobs, little option buttons and go archive card, all right? It's not something I generally use. All right, I'm here to manage information that I'm gonna come back and use on the regular. I'm not here to manage tasks. That's what, not what I use it for. All right, but once we've gone through and we've got it installed, um, obviously we need to create a new Kanban. So how do we do that? All right, so let's just have a look here. Community plugins, we're going to go to, let's install now, so I'll come down to here. Kanban. 
All right, so we come through here. Let's just have a look at the instructions. So how do I create a Kanban board? All right, we can click that link. It takes us straight to here. So create a Kanban board. You can right click on a folder and select new Kanban board. All right, it's that simple. So let's come in here. We're going to come down. I'm going to do it just on here just for the sake of it. We're going to go right click and we're going to go new Kanban board. All right, brand new Kanban board is here. I'm going to create the first list. All right, I'm going to create a second list. All right, from here we can add a card. From here we can add another card. All right. So as you can see, it's quite easy to sort of initially get set up. All right, so we're just right clicking on a folder. We're going new Kanban board, and then from there we're just starting to configure it. Now, obviously, these things can be dragged around, okay, dragged up and down. Um, we, we learned before we can do this as well, so we can move cards between lists. Very, very handy. Um, for anyone who does like you know workflow management or project management, for example, you'll probably be aware of this. You know, you use it quite often to to drag things from different statuses. Um, but you can also add images. So if we go in here and go edit note, um, to add an image is really quite simple. We'll start with an exclamation mark. Put your uh, square bracket, square bracket in there, um, and then you can basically start coming here and having a look at all the files in your vault. I'm going to do my cat.png. All right, and we can see that that land links directly to the picture. So that works really easily. You can also do the same up here in the lists. So you can go edit list name, explanation mark, bracket, bracket. Um, what are we going for grappling? Let's go goblin. I think I've got a goblin picture. There we go, goblin. All right, then you get to the end, you press enter. All right, and that then creates your list. Now, you can take the text out if you like. All right, you don't need to have it there. So you could just have a picture, which is what I've done on mine, right? Like I've taken all the text out and I've actually created these pictures manually, just using an online tool, um, Logo Creator. This is the thing I just Googled a random one. Um, just quickly spun these up, added them into my vault as pictures, and then basically referenced those inside of there. Um, I will say that some people will probably install this for the first time and go, oh, mine doesn't look like yours. So just a note that I am using the ITS theme here. So if we go to settings, I've got my ITS theme. I've done a video on that previously. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you go back and have a look. But because we have it installed, we can go into style settings. And I think it's in here, all right, in the shadow settings, plugins, and we can see here that there's two options for Kanban. So probably just pay attention over here on the right. I don't think I can move this window, but if I change these, you can see the bolding on the text is gone and those little, um, little circles are gone. So the circles come in as part of the Kanban plugin adjustments. And then we can also turn on the, um, or turn off or turn on the Kanban plugin Notion style. So this is probably a bit more of a raw um, Kanban look. You know, this is out of the box more so, well, at least with the ITS plugin installed. All right, but if I come in here and turn these things back on, you can see it sort of just like, it puts it all together. It takes away the borders, which I quite like. It just really kind of makes for a nice, neat sort of look. So. Just a heads up on why mine looks probably a little bit different to yours. <coughs> Alright, so you can obviously make these cards. Alright, what can you do with these cards? You can link these cards. So, we've got edit card. Da, da, da. Oh, you got a new note from the card. And I think this is what I did originally, right? So I did new card, new note from card. That creates a new note. Alright, and then once you've got that new note in place, All right, you can come over here and you can then obviously control or hold control and mouse over your note to see the content, or you can click to go through to it. So that is all very functional as well. All right, um, it's worth noticing that another thing you can do with any note, by the way, which might be handy for some people is the old the ability to pin a note. All right, so if I pin this note, all right, and then I do this, right? See how I've got it pinned now on the left-hand side? 
which means I can now use my Kanban board to very quickly navigate in my right hand screen um, for all of that information. So that's generally you know, quite a useful piece of functionality, I think. So yeah, there's um, as I said, there's not much to it, um, you know, for what I use. I'm sure people can go to the you know absolute up degree and using tasks and dates and all that sort of stuff. It's not something I do. It's not something I have a need for. Um, there is some base functionality in here: insert card before, insert card after. We do have the archive card. All right, so if we can archive it, we can see that it's gone, and we can come up here to this list and say, "Here's my archive cards." All right. Um, well, no, actually, don't press that. That archives them all. Oh, here's the archive list. No, we're not going to press that either. All right. It appears that when you archive it, it's gone. I'm sure there is a way though to go back and have a look at some of your archive list. But as I said, not something that I play with because it's not something that I need. So, all right, we'll just skip that for now. Um, so yeah. Basically, really, really handy way to create yourself a Dungeon Master screen. All right, it's really quite a useful piece of functionality. So, hopefully, you guys will find this useful. Um, outside of that, you know, I'd, I'd love to see some screenshots online of what you guys are making with this. So, I always love seeing what you guys are, are coming up with. So, anyway, hope you guys have a great day. I will speak to you on the forums. If you do enjoy this content, please do like and subscribe. Um, I am releasing more than just videos these days over on my Patreon, so um, tutorials and things on how to install Obsidian and sort of step you through the process, because, you know, there's a lot going on in this program these days. It's, it's an amazing tool, so, yeah. Anyway, if you'd like to pop over and check it out, um, the links will be in the description below. But outside of that, I'll speak to you on the forums. Have a great day.